Hey guys, welcome back to Frenemies. I'm Ian, and we are here to start the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, <laughs> I'm actually I'm really excited about starting the show. I'm really, I really regret <laughs> having not reacted to WandaVision because I wasn't honestly planning on reacting to this either, just watching it. But it was just <sighs> WandaVision. Oh man, so many freaking awesome. Just not the whole show itself. I loved like the Dick Van Dyke. And other, like, the old, like, 50s, uh, nods in the first two episodes. <coughs> like, Dick Van Dyke and kind of, <coughs> excuse me, I <Isla> Lucy too. <coughs> Even Bewitched. Um, like, it's like a mixture with Bewitched and, and, um, oh, crap. It's been such a long time. I don't remember what, it, uh, the genie one. Shoot. <laughs> um, I dream of genie. Um, I'm pretty sure this is nothing... Like, what that's gonna be. Because there was a reason behind why it was going like that. Um, it is absurdly hot in my room for some reason. I don't know what's going on. It's like 53 degrees uh, Fahrenheit outside. I don't know why it's so warm inside. There was, that's not that high. Um, but anyway. Um, yeah, I... I, uh... I mean, I enjoy these two actors whenever uh, in, the, in, the, in the movies. Um... I, I I I like their kind of uh, hate lo lo not love hate their uh, the, the, <laughs> the friction between these two it's entertaining um, and I, it, it kind of sucks seeing Chris leave Cap uh, Captain America behind because he was he was just such a good Captain America now I don't know a whole lot about Marvel comics um, and I like I didn't read a whole lot of Captain America comics either. But just, I don't know, the way that Chris Evans is kind of portrayed, just, it felt right. But anyway, um, neither here nor there, really. I mean, he did pass the mantle on to, um, to, uh, oh, God, to Sam. Jeez, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm interested to see, I, I haven't really looked at many trailers. I looked at one trailer, like the very first trailer that came out, that was actually kind of more showing, um, not like a, a sneak peek, like an actual trailer, the very first one, I believe, that came out. Where, like, Sam's got kind of like a new suit looking thing and flying through a canyon. It's really all I've seen. So I don't know much about what this is going to be about, per se. I'm assuming he's training with the shield, considering he doesn't have the same enhanced strength that either Cap or Bucky has. So, I don't know. I have no idea what this is going to be about. Just, I not that long since Sam even gave him the shield. Like, what kind of crap is that? I don't. This dude, man. I wonder if this guy doesn't have a Captain America face. Look at him. No offense to this guy, but like, come on. I ain't no Captain America. Oh, man, that hurts. But. I don't keep wanting to say Anthony. Sam. Gave that because it didn't feel right. It didn't feel like it was anybody other than Steve's. And here, this guy just comes in taking the shield up. Like, like he deserves it. Did he? I mean, he might have. I mean, he 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 might be a good soldier. You know, he might have served. Yeah, I don't know. You just feel like interesting. I feel like the costume is a little. Reminiscent of Bucky's in a way. That is like, like the front anyway, a small bit. And this guy, I don't know. This dude just doesn't have the face of Captain America. And the helmet almost looks like I'm, I'm nitpicking him, his outfit, just because I'm upset. <laughs> but it does seem somewhat like a toy almost. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just my frustration taking it out on him. You can't just do that. Ugh. <laughs> I am wondering though about um uh, I forgot her name, but the girl that that uh <laughs> that Yuri said Bucky on a date with, if she's gonna be like some kind of fighter, because I think I saw you know I think we see a picture of her in like the the outro kind of card the cards or whatever they have. I don't know if I wanted to see that because I don't know who this person is and I don't know if she's already a comic book character. 
but it'd be cool to find, see like her just coming. Out. It's not that big of a deal, really, but like it would be, it would have been a kind of cool surprise. I mean, I'm still not sure if that's her, because I mean, you know, it doesn't not the best detail. I mean, Anthony Mackie's and um, and uh, I'm blinking. What and the what's J? What's Bucky's actor's name? Um, oh god. <laughs> Hold on. It says in the after. I can't believe I forgot his name. I had it earlier. Sebastian Stan. Jesus, I don't know how I forgot that poor guy's name. Jesus Louise. Um, I mean, they're, I mean, it's pretty distinguishable, their characters. So, I mean, I just met her. But I feel like that was her. Um, anyway. I didn't expect, maybe I should have. I say this a lot. Well, I mean, I tend to miss things, like connections, <clears throat> whether I'm paying, whether I I see it or not, I'll just miss it. But like, the, I, you know, I just figured it was a that it was just a that, that was a dream of what something had, that Bucky had done, you know, when, when you in his Winter Soldier days. I didn't think it was gonna connect to this guy that we just met. <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't think it was gonna be be that. Um. Uh, effective towards the story like obviously Buck's still dealing with a bunch of crap I mean that's years of brainwash that he's dealing with right now that's not that doesn't just go away even if even with what he did like the, even if the programming's out what he had done is still there and to have to live with that day in day out like not only it's not like whenever I mean it's, it's one thing when you like when you're a soldier and you and you have to take lives, when it's your choice, but when it's not and you take someone who may be an innocent person, <sighs> oh, man. and now I, I'm wondering if he knew, like if he tracked this guy down, the uh, I can't, I, I don't, I feel like it would be too much of a coincidence that he just found this guy, and it turned out that it was his dad. I feel like he wanted to make amends, and this was his way, one of his ways was kind of. Uh, befriend him, and maybe maybe he wanted to apologize to him. Maybe he has been planning to tell him what happened. I mean, we saw he he wanted to do it there, and he almost did. Like he left the date because of just how much it was affecting him, and how you know the guilt is eating him alive. Oh, man. I I hardly I'm kind of upset because I'm pretty sure I saw the camera cut off a little bit earlier, freeze, like change uh, to a new clip or whatever um early which means it stopped recording probably like 30 seconds or so earlier <clears throat> so i didn't get necessarily my reaction to <coughs> um yuri's yuri getting um bucky set up but it felt it felt like an iroh thing i don't know i think it's i just my main connection was just like whenever iroh kind of sort of set him up with uh the girl um with zuko up with that girl during the uh Tales of Bossing Say episode. Um, I mean, she kind of she asked him out, but then he's like, he loved to. Um, so it just it, I don't know. It felt kind of like an Iron thing, except you know he took more. It's like, hey, he wants to take you out. You know, it was more of a direct approach, and he started the initiative. I I love that old dude already, and I to see just the, the like. The emotion on his face is like, like he did. I think he did a great job from what like little scene we had him in. Like you could see the pain, just like of you know losing a son, losing a child. Like a parent should never have to lose their child. Like they should. Like it, it's it's terrible having to lose your parent, but like that should never be reversed. Like that'll break a parent. Oh, that. If if they're a loving parent and they care for their child, that that that. That's hard to come back from for for some. I mean, luckily he seems to be doing all right. But I mean, that I was just seeing that treat affected him. And, and then Bucky, when he tries to go tell him, he sees the shrine he has, and the God. that's the worst, man. I, can't. I didn't think it was gonna. I didn't think it was gonna go that this this route for Bucky. I, I guess. 
It may it makes sense though. I mean, yeah, because he still has so much crap that he has to deal with, and they didn't necessarily address it. Like they he, they stated like one line. He says, "I remember them all." Whenever Tony had, um, do you remember where you killed my parents or do you remember them? And he says, "I remember them all." So like you you know he has that trauma in his in his mind, but they never really went into it. And then when he was <coughs> talking with the psychiatrist saying that he had a moment of peace but he's went from one war to another and he's basically been fighting for 90 some odd years man that they both have an issue they, and they, have, they haven't come together yet so I don't know how, how many episodes this show is going to have like this season um, well yeah Sam and, uh, and uh, Bucky haven't come together yet um and Sam, yeah, Bucky's actually ignoring Sam's text I'm wondering what his what because I mean I know they don't hate each other they're kind of a little more they're uh by the end of an end game they were definitely a little more uh co <laughs> cooperative um but I'm wondering like what Sam what he's trying to contact Bucky for was it too invite him or to let him know to about the memorial for for steve or not a memorial but like the, the honoring and giving the shield to the museum and they just give it up to some anyway um i'm assuming that they maybe get together next episode perhaps i mean there's they're they're dealing with this I, i'm sure i'm sorry but they got to deal with this uh Flag Smasher, this, this Flag Smasher's group, and I'm, we didn't really see what Bucky, how he feels about this guy just taking the mantle, without really any kind of work towards, I, I, again, I don't know what this guy's done, so maybe he's, he's a good fit for it, but I mean, I just don't know him, I don't like that he's just up and showed up trying to fill, fill the shoes of, of Captain America already. I was a little worried for Torres, Torres though, I didn't know if like, I mean, this isn't really a character we know. We'll, t we'll kill him. But I mean, I, I didn't think that. Part of me thought that, but then another part of me was like, well, I mean, it's still a TV show. They gotta bring in some new characters. Not, it's not, they're not all gonna be characters from the movies, so we gotta bring in a bunch of characters that are new, and some of that you'll get connected to, um, or that you'll, you know, that you'll enjoy. I already, up the bat, I was liking Torres. <laughs> he seemed pretty fun, and like, a, he seemed like a good kid. Um, a kid and he's, he's probably older than me but i don't know he it just comparatively he seems younger than sam and less experienced that's the only reason i was saying that it just kind of <coughs> it made him seem younger by comparison um but torres the new girl i'm gonna look up i'm worried about looking at him but i'm gonna look it up just because i feel bad that i don't know her name because i'm pretty sure they said it i'm pretty sure she said it actually <laughs> um maybe not did they even ask i don't know i don't know no, they did not state her name okay well, <laughs> that doesn't really help me much. Um, okay, so I didn't state her name in the in, in IMDb. Um, uh, oh well, I guess we'll just wait and see. I don't. I guess they didn't say her name yet. You feel bad for for um for Sam. Like he's up even before the blip. I guess he. It sounds like he uh left didn't want to deal with what issues that the parents were dealing with and I was trying to make up for that is so what I think I, I gathered um, and he doesn't want to give it up you know I guess his, I don't know if his parents passed before the blip or, or like during the blip or before it but either way he doesn't want to let go of this now he, I mean fair <laughs> I mean it's something that was in your family for a while um, like the house and the, the, the boat you know you, is doing what he can, but the sisters already kind of came came to terms with it, and he kind of sort of reinvigorated that hope that they could keep it, and then it just kind of came crashing down again because they couldn't because because the blip screwed things up. They don't have income. They they didn't show any income coming in because uh, for five years because they weren't there, or like at least at least one of them wasn't there. I know it probably feels crummy, but maybe Sam could ask Pepper for help a little bit, you know. And then the guy stated like about what kind of, what kind of pay they made as an Avenger. I mean, Tony probably kind of helped with that. And they, I mean, they probably have their own jobs. 
never really saw them do much else. Like, well, they didn't, we didn't really see them on their off times too often. <sighs> I mean, it's it's tough it's tough to ask for help. Maybe just like a little bit to kind of keep things like being able be able to hold on to the boat until they can get things going on their own, and then eventually pay Pepper back. I mean, I know she wouldn't doesn't really need it, <laughs> but still, it's the principle of the thing. I never thought about it, but she uh, the the girl the lady brought up a good point about. There's, you know, work for losing your husband, or, or when your husband, when you're a husband who's lost your spouse or a wife who's lost your spouse, there's not some, there's not a word for someone you've lost your kid. And I kind of, I mean, and and like, logically speaking, it's not really that big a deal, but like kind of represents like you just feel I mean you just kind of like empty lost I guess I don't know if that's what they're going for um, if I'm just kind of like making crap up <laughs> but I just kind of almost feel like that's what what that is what that means I mean yeah you'd you'd feel and like that that hole in your heart when you lose your love with your spouse but when it's your kid I, f I would feel like it would just be so much worse I don't know I guess it, I, don't, I don't know it is, it is interesting that there isn't a term for that as one for the others. But it's like, like, it's like you. That's not something that should happen, you know. Like, sure, when you, you know, you could lose your love, your your spouse, maybe when you grow older. Um, but you shouldn't lose your child who's still has their whole life ahead of you of them. I mean, I'm going looking too much into that, but I just. I don't know. It just I it, I didn't think about it until she had said that, and just was like, wow, yeah, that that it's kind of heavy. <laughs> now who's this? Who's this guy? Like I'm wondering if I, I don't think the this like what appears to be a super soldier in like those one of the flag smashers. I don't think he's gonna be this the, like portraying the new Captain America. Um, there's gonna be some kind of weird con going on, like maybe. Yeah, I, I don't really know. It didn't seem like the same person, though. I know we couldn't see his face, but, like, I don't know. There were, you know like, he seemed like he had longish hair, like medium-length hair, maybe. Um, the other, And then the cap guy that's taking the mantle of Captain America, for now, um, doesn't seem to, you know, it doesn't seem, we don't really see it poking out from the, from the um, helmet. I mean, and they could, I guess, hide that, but it didn't, it didn't seem like him, and... I don't know. It, I think I feel like the guy might have been shorter, like the guy with the the black smasher. I don't know how to look back at it later. How did they come across somebody or come across something that would give them abilities? I wonder. I wonder if it's like a hmm, like this this person has these abilities, or if maybe they have they found something or someone has created something to where it would temporarily give one of them abilities. Like maybe that's a thing. I I don't know. It, it's inter it's just I don't I didn't expect them to have at least a super soldier and maybe a powered person but not it, it just seemed like a super soldier kind of person I don't know well they just seem kind of strong maybe they didn't like they're I would, I would maybe I shouldn't go so far as to say super soldier because they're also like really fast and agile agile whatever so uh, I don't know uh, I have no idea. That just that that surprised me. But the first few minutes of this sh episode, like the premiere, also surprised me. Like I didn't expect that that um the valley scene to be in the very first episode <laughs> and the first few minutes. Like that was intense. <laughs> um, I, when I first saw him going against the wing the wingsuit guys, I'm like, huh? I could have sworn it was against like helicopters or something. I guess not. Maybe it was. Maybe I was thinking. Maybe I was just. I remember. I was remembering seeing. Sam fly through the canyon at such, you know, ridiculous speeds and expertise. Um, but uh, but no, <laughs> they showed up later. Um, dude, Sam cut so close, but he did such a good job. I feel like he he's very, he's very hard on himself. He obviously doesn't. He just doesn't feel like Sam, anybody should have the shield. I guess other than Steve. So he's hard. He's hard on himself for that. It was interesting. Too. It was kind of kind of a cool little. Nod back to went back all the way back to Winter Soldier, Captain America Winter Soldier. That Russian? Were they Russian? I don't remember. 
but that guy that, that I'm pretty sure that he's an actual MMA fighter. Um, he that he's back again. I mean, I don't know if he's on, if he's gonna pop up again. Um, if he was just like in this episode kind of a thing, I, he might. Um, but I mean, yes, I mean Sam's a good fighter, but I don't know how well he compares to this guy. Like Steve was, uh, you know, Steve. <laughs> so. I mean, I, all things considered, I think Sam did he fared uh, pretty well. I think I, thought, I just thought that whole sequence, like not just flying through the valley, I think that whole thing was kind of cool, like sending a red wing to kind of just just cutting the door, and it was apparently not cutting all the way to where you know they would see the laser, um, like or the, at least the heated metal, a, 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 a line of heated metal appearing, um, just cutting through enough to where that it would, uh, the pressure would be too much, and it would just shoot off. Um, just yeah, that whole sequence. Even um, obviously the flight scene in the valley was the most intense, but I like that whole thing. Um, and I was surprised to see Rhodey in this at all. Like, I I don't know. I I guess I wasn't expecting to see because I know that uh uh what's her name um Peggy's niece. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Can't Karen. I can't remember her name. That was bad. Why am I forgetting everybody's name? Well, I know she's gonna be in this. Um, I don't know to what extent and how much, but I know she's gonna be in it. I don't. I didn't know Rhodey was gonna be in this though. <laughs> um, that was pretty cool. Um, I'm hoping we see more of him, and I, I hope he's able. He's gonna play an element in kind of giving Sam the confidence to take the mantle up. Because he's like, why didn't you take? He even asked directly, why didn't you take the mantle? Um, and I, I feel like he, I mean, he obviously feels that Sam would do a, gr a great job. He doesn't have to be Steve. He's just got to be the new Steve. He doesn't have to even be Captain America. Just the next symbol, you know? J just something to give everybody hope. He doesn't have to be what Steve was. Because, um, you know, he's not. I mean, not, nobody is going to be another person. <laughs> Unless you're a shapeshifter. But even then, you don't really have the same qualities. I'm just I'm, I'm wondering if that's going to be throughout I'm, just, I'm assuming that's going to be an arc for Sam throughout the whole season um, uh, and probably the elements of doubt maybe in, in, the, in the next seasons if there's more, more than one um, but for sure this one I don't know if it's going to be like midway he's going to take uh, uh, take it up more I guess I'm trying to get another word another way to word it but Accept it more, I guess is a better way to, is what I'm looking for. Um, and I'm just I'm inter I, I'm interested to see them like Bucky and Sam just working together because their their dynamic is just fun. Like it's they the they're so hostile toward each other, but it like almost in like a in a sibling way, you know. I love that what Bucky was doing too, <laughs> like that he's kind of crossing the the people off. Off his off a, off a list, excuse me, Jesus. Um, basically, people that I guess were Hydra that you know used the abused the power that him as the Winter Soldier had given them, um, and he's providing evidence to get them locked up and <laughs> confronted them, saying, uh, "What was it? Um, well, I am James Buchanan Barnes. You're part of my making amends, or something along along those lines." I just I thought that was so. <laughs> he's like. All right, this is step three. Yep. Have a good day in prison, <laughs> um, or wherever they're going. Actually, I feel like, apart from just being a very entertaining uh, duo, that they would probably help each other quite a bit. Like they were both friends with Steve. Um, very different. Uh, a very different. Um, relationship between both like both best friends but like one since childhood one a little more recent but like kind of they still went through a lot together so I it, I just feel like that they would be able to help push each other through certain issues that they're dealing with right now um let's I hope so yeah I think that's all I have for this episode um great start I feel like uh I wasn't expecting a lot of this, you know, I didn't expect, well, I didn't expect, again, the, the 
uh, the valley scene. The valley? I'm, I feel like I'm saying the wrong thing, but like, I didn't expect that so soon, like in the very first few minutes. Um, and I, I guess I wasn't really sh I, expecting such internal struggles with, like, the way, like, apart from, you know, the dreams, like, having to deal with the consequences, like, having to try to make amends with the people, with the people that it's affected, like, the people he's killed and their families, you know, like, they they were affected by it, and, um, Sam dealing with, uh, kind of financial issues and the fact that he might have to give up some things that was part of his family. I just, I'm wondering, like, where, uh, this new cap and the flag smashers, that, that all fits in, but I guess, obviously, we're along with the ride for that. <laughs> that is it for this week's episode of, uh, The Falcon and Winter Soldier. I almost forgot what it was called. Uh, if you want to stick around for next week's episode, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you want to see any catches that we have, uh, going up early, check out our Patreon. Working on getting more shows up currently. There's Young Justice. Hopefully, again, there will be more soon. But again, hope you enjoyed it. See you guys next week.